Take out the microscope base and lock all four casters. Take out the counterweights and install them on the four vertical plates of the base, ensuring the same number of counterweights on each plate. Remove the screws from the four corners of the base and the central boss. Align the screw holes of the counterweights with the screw holes at the four corners of the base and secure them with screws. Take out the stand pillar. Align the circular groove at the bottom of the stand pillar with the central boss of the base and adjust the screw holes at the bottom of the stand pillar to match the screw holes on the central boss. Secure the screws in the four corner screw holes. Take out the base cover, slide it down from the top of the stand pillar, and place it on the base. Take out the housing trim locking ring, place it in the same direction on the base, and secure the trim block with screws. Take out the handle and move the handle mounting block inside the stand pillar groove to the appropriate height. Align the screw mounting hole of the handle with the corresponding screw hole on the handle mounting block, secure it with screws, then press the screw hole covering into the corresponding hole on the handle. Repeat the same installation method on both sides. Take out the cross arm and the first cross arm is sleeved downwards on the stand pillar rotating shaft, until the end, then tighten the fixation knob. Loosen the fixation knob as shown in the video, rotate the C-arm 45 degrees connecting block to an easy installation position, then tighten the fixation knob. Take out the balance arm and align the shaft of the balance arm with the connecting block shaft hole, inserting it. Align the screw holes of the balance arm shaft with the screw holes on the connecting block and secure it with the balance arm fixing screws. Loosen the knob as shown in the video, straighten the balance arm left and right, then tighten the knob. Loosen the knob as shown in the video, straighten the balance arm up and down, then tighten the knob. Loosen the knob as shown in the video, straighten the entire balance arm to a suitable position for installing the microscope body. Align the three screw holes on the side of microscope body with the three through holes on the connecting arm. Tighten it with three microscope body fixing screws. Take out the 30 degrees extender with integrated splitter, loosen the positioning screw. Insert the 30 degrees extender with integrated splitter into the dovetail female mouth corresponding to the microscope body, and the positioning groove must be consistent with the positioning pin of the corresponding interface of the microscope body. Tighten the positioning screw. Insert the rotate ring into the 30 degrees extender with integrated splitter, and the positioning groove must be consistent with the positioning pin of the corresponding interface of the 30 degrees extender with integrated splitter. Tighten the positioning screw. Take out the binocular tube, loosen the positioning screw. Insert the 0 to 210 degrees binocular tube into the 30 degrees extender with integrated splitter. The positioning groove of the binocular tube must be consistent with the 30 degrees extender with integrated splitter positioning pin. Tighten the positioning screw. Take out the handle, choose an appropriate angle, align the internal groove of the handle with the positioning pin of the corresponding interface of the microscope body and press it in firmly. Repeat the same installation method on both sides. Loosen the retaining ring of the 30 degrees extender with integrated splitter and remove the protective cover. Attach the digital camera adapter to the 30 degrees extender with integrated splitter and tighten the retaining ring. 
Attach the digital camera to the digital camera adapter. Take out the data bus component and insert the Type-C end and HDMI end into the socket on the microscoped body end and the other end into the connection port on the lift arm. Take out the power cord, plug one end into the power socket of the device and the other end into the local power socket. Remove the top cover of the rotating arm. Take out the connecting post and screw it into the rotating arm, ensuring the connecting post is tightened. As shown in the video, install the lower arm of the monitor bracket and tighten the fixing screws. As shown in the video, install the upper arm of the monitor bracket and tighten the fixing screws to complete the monitor bracket installation.